So I got a good chance to say goodbye. And I'm sorry about that. It's just the next combination there was too. I read that. It was like, I love it. So you know, like, I'm making so much for commercial and marketing for sale. Like, and I do financial applications. Ready there? Yeah. I made it to this I'll get that with you. logo on my chest. Wow, that's an interesting shot, Debbie. And listen, I sign up for the for the top of it. I recommend it. Can I get a little attention over here? Can I get a little attention? All right. How's everyone doing? Great. Good, good. Can you join yourselves here? Oh, yeah. Perfect. So, just want to introduce myself. My name is Will Leggett. I'm the owner of United Ventures. We're a corporate team building company specializing in entertainment, uh, event planning, and training and development. So, basically, what we do is we work with corporations like yourselves, and we uh, basically find out what you've done in the past and then create an experience that goes above that last experience. And that's what we have for you today. So I know that you've been here a couple of years and done quite a few different things. So what we have provided you with today is our version of Survivor. We're calling it Corporate Survivor. Have you ever seen that show, Thank Survivor? Thank you. A couple of you. Okay. So we are going to be getting out here in a moment. We're going to bring you to the top of the mountain. Totally <laughs> kidding. Just kidding. That's what you were there. Right. No doubt. No, just kidding. Just kidding. Because of the, the rain and whatnot, we've actually transitioned uh, the event to be indoors here. Uh, there is one checkpoint that you will be getting on golf carts, and you'll have to figure out where that checkpoint is. That will be one of our first ones. Uh, we have the larger golf carts, so you can get four people on it. Uh, and then there's also a smaller one, so if you have a team of five, you can have that extra person, you can all travel so together. So Debbie said it was naked and afraid, that's <laughs> Last night, this is, this is Scott. Everybody say hi, Scott. And we have Christina as our newest intern for the summer. So, uh, and again, my name is Will. So, essentially, what's going to happen is we're going to be going through four different types of challenges here. We're going to do one in this room and one in this room uh, to begin with. After that takes place, you're going to have about a half an hour to complete that challenge. Uh, each one of us will explain further detail how that's going to happen when you're done We're going to come back and we're going to share our best practices of what we just did at the activity so that when we switch We're going to have the opportunity to have a little bit more information about what worked well last time or the next time Someone tries that activity. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So we're going to go through four activities doing that every time you'll be translating or you'll be providing information from your previous challenge uh, there is one challenge uh, that you'll actually have to work together, but all other challenges will be head-to-head -head competitions. So, as as we do that, you will have <laughs> you will you'll be in a head-to-head -head competition. For each win, you will receive an advantage for the final challenge. I'm not going to let you know when or where that final challenge will take place, but just to let you know: the more wins you have, the better odds you are at being the winner of Corporate Survivor. Make sense? Yes. All right. Okay. 
Um, and basically what happens is, familiar, you know, growing up uh, in this, in, back in elementary school, rock, paper, scissors. You ever play that game? Okay. So Nicole, can you step up here for me? Just so we're all clear. Stretching? Okay, you're good. All right, that's good. <laughs> Because it's just rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> but essentially what's going to happen is you're going to take your non-dominant hand, you're going to play a platform here, and you're going to go rock, paper, scissors, shoot. So on shoot, you're going to throw a rock, a paper, or a scissors. Scissors cuts through paper, paper covers rock, and... Rock smashes rock, scissors. Rock smashes smash scissors. scissors, okay? Yeah. Sorry, it took me a little bit to do that. <laughs> uh, so once you win, you're just going to have one round. Once you win, uh, say Nicole beats me, we got a winner. We're going to find another team of two, and we're going to go against them. And then once that wins, we're going to have a team of four. So essentially at the end, we should have close to uh, like 12 or 8 on 8 because we're roughly about 16. So we're going to have a final round, and then uh, we'll, we'll break you up into your teams, and then we'll get you going. All make sense? Yep. So partner up with someone. teams right now so without speaking I would like you to align yourselves with the newest employee over here to the person that's been with the company the longest over here so without speaking try to figure out where you stand in that line newest employee over here person that's been with the company the longest over on the right September. How about you? 2008. 2008. February 06. Okay, good. April 02. 02. 02. 02. 01. 01. And Steve, when did we start this company? 30, almost 32. All right, 32 years ago. So, <laughs> congratulations on doing that first time. <laughs> Teams, so just count off one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Me too. All right. So I'm a one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, three four. One, two, three, four. One. Okay. So what's gonna happen? Teams one and two are gonna come with me in this room. Teams three and four are gonna stay out here with Nicole and Scott. One baby. So we're gonna go Did I not tell her? <laughs> she did. I win. We got a loser. Uh, this year you do. I'm not a loser. No, no. That was $80,000. Here. 
So do you turn on? your tablet on? Can I get you to pay attention over turn here so I can on. teach you how to turn it on? Wait, he's teach you now. Okay. He's, he's going to teach you how to hit the button. If you use the top left of your screen, you'll see a single button. Press that and swipe up. Here. So does everyone have this screen up? Okay. The screen up? Yep. Okay. So um, we already kind of gave you the big picture, but if you'd like to read along on what the big picture is, on the very bottom you see big picture index cards. So that just gives you the big picture overview of what we're going to be doing today. But essentially what we want to go into is facilitated challenge directions. Just, uh -oh. Here, I started technical thing. Here. The only exception is actually the first activity we're doing because we have to shift inside, we change up the designs, but all your other instructions for the activities that you'll be moving forward with are on here. So when we tell you what the activity is, you can go to the screen and you'll have the rules in front of you. Correct? Makes sense? So just to go to your back button here, uh, you both are going to checkpoint two. So utilizing your map, you need to figure out where checkpoint two is. You're going to find a blue bucket there. That blue bucket's going to have a golf ball and it's gonna have a T in it. It's actually gonna have four golf balls and yeah, four tees, one ball. per tee. So only grab one tee and one golf ball, and then when you come back, we're gonna to find two. Check point two, two. Point two. Get one ball. golf ball, one tee. One tee, come, tea. come back here. Once, once you come back here, you can start the challenge. So the faster you find it, the faster okay. you can start this challenge. Okay. Make sense? All right, you got yeah, you have to make a right. Because okay. And not you instead of making a right, you have to come out like we're in the Got it. We're so into this. No, he has one with an extra. Oh, we have an extra one? Meshkina. Really? Wait, are those as tall as this one? We want the tallest oh, no, one first. So, this, this is shorter. Here, let me let you know. Y'all confusing us. Do not walk. Did you get the blue bucket? Yes. There's a blue bucket that had like four teeth in there. There was no blue bucket on A2. Come on, let's watch, watch, watch. No bucket. I'll let it go. I'll let it keep going. Yeah, I'll do back that there. ball. So, how you want it? We're going to start the golf ball on tee number one. Alright guys. And then we're going to get into that hole. Once you get into the hole, you're going to go to tee number two, three, four, you're going to go to nine holes. We want to be all twisted in our arms, right? So we don't get any twists, so we don't. Lower your feet. Maybe get it next to the ball. Right. Drop. Slow, slow, slow. Slow, slow, slow. Shit. Yes! Okay, there's one. Hole number two. There we go. There we go. All right, so go to hole number two. Okay. Keep it going. Okay. Three in the hole. Five. 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 Alright, that's a hole. Wait. Alright, we got it. Follow it. Just come on. There we go. There's one. Alright. Hole two. We just have to be slow and slow. Can you move that curve again? You'll have it easier to go toward Mary Lynn. So it's not jumping up. There we go. Nice job. Yeah, it's jumping up. Wait, wait, wait. Right there. 
Exactly. So we're trying to get over a hump. Now, we're getting, we're getting a little too high with this table here, folks. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My head can't hold anymore. Alright. That's not good. You guys are going to need to just keep it. I don't need to see our scam. Hold on. Hold on. Wait, I'm going to go, go back a little. Give as soon as it drops, we got to go. Oh, yeah. Quick, it's going to go. There we go. Capture it. There we go. Capture it, and then we can do it. Nice job, ladies. Keep it going. Keep it going. They're at six. You guys are at five. Five. Yep. Hey! Oh! Hold them one, baby. <laughs> the way I like it. Done. Beautiful girls. Nice. We got eight. Pull eight over here. Right. Keep it going. They, they got three. Go. They can go off and they have to start yes! again. Yes! Oh! Pull eight. And oh, oh, God. Pull number nine. Wait, easy, easy. All right, we did this back again. Take that. Super slow. Super slow. Super Yes! Yeah. information on um, tablets. these tablets. Um, also, by the way, this is Greg. He's going to be taking video and, and hey, uh, Greg. Greg. you're going to get hey, some, Greg. some pictures. I'm not like a random with... guest. I know. <laughs> Tablets, you can also take your own photos. Uh, hey, so, right. so I'll show you how to do that. Yep. So if you and you'll see this again. Over there. Home screen. Yep. Oh, you already got your photo open. All right, and then your camera options. So there are a bunch of filters you can use, which is your top left. Hey, Steve. All right, I guess you guys are Steve. 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 Oh, we got great. <laughs> <laughs> so, these are your filters will come up here. Big Snapchat. Exactly. I'm not going to give you That's a hot picture for the website. I like that. Where's the filters? <laughs> This one's a little different. Where are we at? What is he? Oh, wait. <laughs> I got you Just tell like them. Well, we can't because we have one. Because <laughs> <laughs> we just found a random golf ball and grabbed it. All right. If I, I thought I saw. I thought I saw someone.
someone kicked me. Is that why those guys the were chasing but, us? And we <laughs> <just> <laughs> I thought I was really? kicking. But, oh, man. I'm not going to start, start mudslinging just so, yet. So you want to explain to them, uh, again, don't necessarily tell them how to do it. You can if you'd like, but give them um, tidbits of information. When they go outside and go exactly. collect the bucket, don't tell them that it's in the back don't parking lot. Don't kick the bucket. Uh, and don't kick the bucket. Don't kick the bucket. Uh, <laughs> Uh, but essentially, now take a couple minutes, discuss with your <laughs> Yeah. Fire. That, that's gotta be by the, the pool in the spa. The, yeah. Oh, that's, the, the, that's the front area. Yeah, but this is not a clue, isn't it? Don't we have certain numbers? This is GCL. Yeah. One three. No, Grand no, Cascade no, Lodge. GCL three. And we were what? Mm. Five. What's oh, this? My one is this. Except we may run out of five minutes. We're going to need them once we have to secure the. We have to have some money in here anyway. All right. We can't roll out of pocket. Right. So, I want my fan. One of the buttons is okay. So, what I have going on behind me is called Pipeline. Their objective is to get their product from the manufacturing plant to the consumer. And by doing that, they will be transporting 10 golf balls. These golf balls will make their way in a freestanding structure with their building now behind me. Once they get all 10 of their golf balls, it can be a product to the market, they'll be considered the winner. So behind us right now is going on is they are trying to make a freestanding structure uh, by utilizing the resources that we provided them with. They will have uh, 30 minutes to complete this task and once that is complete, there'll be one winner hopefully at the end. So benefits of this is communication, working with each other to understand what role they need to take to be successful. So everyone's building their own section right now, or they should be building their own section and essentially once they put them all together, they'll make their one pipeline. So communication is key, trusting that each person is, um, each person is potentially putting their, their section together correctly and um, and essentially building uh, building rapport and fun with each other, having a lot of fun because essentially uh, this activity itself is a uh, an activity that they can improve on. So as they will go through this process, they're going to actually learn from each other's mistakes, and uh, by doing that, they're communicating with one each other, they're collaborating, and having some fun together. Ultimately, that's really what we're trying to create here for an experience. All right, for quality nice. control, my team had one team member with two hands, so what, each team member only one hand. This okay. ball doesn't count. Okay, the ball doesn't count. Alright, again, that one doesn't count because you guys had two hands on the team. One hand each. I have one hand each. Everybody can have one hand, not two hands. Oh, they have two hands. One more, ladies. Come on. One hand. I only have one hand. We have another You can hold it, Joy. One hand. We have a ball in the bucket. Go, 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 go. Oh, let's see. Don't let it fall through. Four. Five. All right. Six. Eight. Oh! 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 Right? They had eight balls in the bucket before that happened. So, um, go ahead and leave the stuff where it lies. We'll pick it up. You're going to head into there and exchange information on the challenges that you just competed in with the teams that are in the other room. It's all right. I'm so sorry. It's just that it won't stop. It's not hurting. Will went to grab the first aid kit. Drive your golf cart to the destination, get the thing, bring it back, and then you'll be the first one back to start to go. In a big circle. 
So, I'm trying to remember, you were in this room. So this next challenge, as you probably now have heard from them, it's called Pipeline. And what happens is there are 10 balls over there. Imagine those being uh, your patients, and you need to bring your patients. You're gonna do that by using these resources. They, essentially what's gonna happen is on your table, and create a pipeline that comes down into these buckets. Okay. 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 You will have, you'll roughly have about 20 minutes to build and then a five minute to implement. Okay. First team that gets all 10 of their balls into the bucket will win. If we're having trouble like the last team did, we will just have the first one to get it in, we'll win. Okay. Make sense? Make yes. Make sense. So on your okay. uh, HR department to, uh, to determine what the... I'll be in order to kill set up both secret fans. I have no idea. There's nine holes, so you go all the way down. Oh, oh my God. All right. First Got team it. to get all nine done wins. Oh, yeah. Okay. Hold on one second. Uh, no. It will go down. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Oh, yeah. it the the hint I got was don't lift it high. Right. Like, everybody right. That's why I was so saying don't lift it off the ground. Come on. All right. Okay. So, oh, all right. can we go now? Go ahead. Go ahead. Go Yes, I am. Okay, then I'm gonna have, you've got Al do this, and you guys can 
do it yourself. I'm gonna stop right Once the ball is moving towards here, let Amy not do it. Okay, okay. okay. Right. Reset. Go ahead. Give me move. Give me the ball. I got it. Okay. 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 Yeah, but then you just violated our rule. Yeah, that should just be a straight shot. Nice. Right. Good. Good. Three. Okay. I'll do the next. Okay. The next ones. Okay. Got it. All right. We've got to pick it up. All right. Move it. Move it. Let's go, guys. Now you guys got it, right? Mm -hmm. There you go. Oh, shit. Two holes left. Why that hole doesn't seem hard? The ninth no. hole, I remember the ninth hole is a tough one. Oh, no, no. <laughs> Why is this that one? So that's not that one is like, lifted a little bit. There you go. Okay, good. Good. You ready? All right. I got it, Claude. You got it. Okay. Tip it. Okay, watch the Tip pawn. it towards the orange. Good, good, good. good. We're there. We're there. In here, this is a head-to-head -head competition. Scott and Nicole will guide you through that. I'll bring you into the other room. So um, I'm going to bring in teams one and three, and two and four are going to stay in here. Okay? All right. Let's move on. In. We're four. One and three. One and two. No. Two and three. All right. We need your tablet for this one. Oh, we got work. And it's going to be Two, two, two. So 
Yeah, so. yeah. Yep. All right. Me. And now you get to work together. <laughs> okay. Woo! Yeah, awesome. Right. So this activity is what we call communication breakdown. And what's going to happen is over on that side of the wall, I'm going to move it over a little bit, is an, an office desk that we've created. There are the identical same supplies right here. So what's going to happen is you, the team that's over there, I'm going to send team one over there and team three over here. Team communicate what yours looks like so they can recreate the identical structure. Through the wall? Nope. No. You're not, no, but we you're, can get away from the wall. You can get away from the wall. You're going to have it already set up there. Okay. And you're just going to come in the central area. So you can't really see their desk. But essentially what I want to have happen is you send one person from uh, team three to come communicate with team one. You communicate for 30 seconds. Once you are done that, you go back, display the information we just heard, and send out someone else to come and communicate with each other. So it's going to be rapid fire. So you're going to have okay. one person so on team one to come up to talk to with one person on team you three and switch. I I two you two new people keep going. So keep going. And, and what I would like to know, there are roughly about 15 different items on there. What do you want to be success? Do you want it to be at 10, getting 10 correct? 12. Do you want 12? Do you want 15? Do you want one? 15. What, 15. what do you want? 15. 15. 15. <laughs> I've heard 15. The CFO says 15. So, so that's what we're going with. That's what we got to go you with. You want to go 100%. 100%. David, yes. you're, David, you're the numbers guy. I get my number right. 15. 15. You're, you're 15. Going, you, you want to set us at 15? Yes. 15. Well, we can do it. Certainly at least 12. I was going to say, 12. I, I, think 12, I, think 12. I think 12. I think 12. Okay. So okay. let me teach you guys a quick little tool here. So this is what's called a thumb check assessment. Thumb check is thumbs up. You could count to three, one, two, three. Everyone put their thumb up if they agree that that's a, a good goal that we've set. Thumb to the side as well. I'll go along with the good of the group, but uh, I'm not 100% sure. Thumb down is no, I actually have something to say, and this is why. Okay. Okay. okay? It's a quick decision making tool. <laughs> Steve, you we, gotta get in the circle. Yeah, we, 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 you know, yeah. here. Join the club. <laughs> we have a total of 30 minutes here. 30 minutes. Oh, that's a, that's a long time. Yep. Okay. So you. Um, All right. So I heard we 12. Can I conference with my team first? No. It's no. Oh, well, oh, 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 All right. Fine. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Team, show David. show thumbs here first. Uh, so what thumbs. I heard proposed was 12 on the table. Is that? Okay. Show is thumbs. That so one, two, three. We shoot. We follow with the CEO. <laughs> CEO. <laughs> <laughs> the CFO. Nicole wants All right. 15. We went to the side. I I'm okay with that. I didn't see any thumbs down. So. 12, uh -huh. and again, okay. it's got to be okay. identical, Right. okay? So like if the pencil is going up this way and the racer at the top, the racer can't be at the bottom. Okay. Makes so sense? How long, it's got to be identical. How long do we have to look at that table before we start communicating? Okay, so you do we, this. You're going to memorize this. You communicate yeah. what this looks like to your person. Blue, green, red. This so full I'm, thing right here. So I'm this oh, and what else? I can memorize. Okay, memorize those two. Steve, so can you handle this? Yes. Okay. okay. <laughs> you see the weights pointing? We have to get okay. the weights pointing on the table. So, now my question is, is wait, do, what do, you, do the pencils okay, wait. have to be in the same way? I got the state. Yes. They have to be in the same cup. And I don't think color. they can be. And what do you, you're doing that, that this cup right. and this. Yes, it does. Steve, what state are you doing? Okay. Stay on the calculator with the number. And this, you yeah. have to do this. Okay, I got you know, this. And then you have to know what is beside. Okay. And Steph, you're this. who's doing that? I'll do this. Because I'm doing all this. I'm going to do this. What, who's got an iPhone? Count how many of them. Okay. <laughs> so you get that. <laughs> oh my God, are you doing this? Yeah, I'll do both these. Oh, All right, we got it. We got it. We got it. We got it. Okay, okay. So. Okay. Oh shit. So, so, so one person from the team one you go up first. here to communicate with teams. Okay. So I'm going to have you face oh, this way. Oh, exactly. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Steph, focus mm -hmm. on your stuff. I know what to do. Got a pad. Wait. Upside down peak calculator between the state blocks and the scissors. It's six, which is one. So each cup is six. This is pineapple, then six, 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 but three, and then two, and then one. Okay, one, two, four, four, one, two, three. Cactus on the upside down. He's so down. He is? Is this a cactus? Oh, yeah, make sure. Yes, I've already done my cactus. I did. I just. Mm -hmm. On sharp mm -hmm. eraser on the right, mm -hmm. below, is a green notebook. It has a 
small orange smiley face um, binder clip. On that, I'm a little lost. Green today. notepad. Mm -hmm. So no, so what else, please? I hope. Go, Dave. I hope. Do, it, do it, Amy. Do it, and then we'll talk about it. So do it first, and then tell what you're doing. Okay. She said the green notebook, and then she said. Who am I going to? Ready? Oh, oh David. Right here. Oh, David. Oh, David. Oh, David. Oh, David. Have fun with one of them. Another oh. one was Play in the Rain. It was a smiley face, too. I don't remember the other oh. two times. Wow, that's a lot. And then a smiley face. And a smiley face. And it has to match exactly. So we gotta we, we remember the smiley face, but we can't put it yet because we don't know. Well, why don't we, we just another one? Why don't we d put it all here, and if we make we'll a mistake, we can rip yeah, this yeah, off. Yeah, right. There were two more things. I know it so was smiley half face. playing the right smiley face, and they were. Yeah, they have to put it up. Try to keep it. All right. And so we'll come up. It's blue. It's blue green. We have this piece now from here. We got to get, yeah, but this is too. This is wrong because see, this piece there's got to be a piece shooting out no, that it's way. Right here. Here. It's right here. This is no, no, no. I'm on this piece. I want this piece shooting out here. This piece. Oh, yeah, and that has to be an over, an over. over. and it's not an over. So we have the wrong. This is the wrong one, guys. This, wait a minute. Maybe no, it's got to be an over. This is the wrong one. Let's so take this out. Here's an over under. This one? This is an over. Over. Go yeah. down there. Try that. Yeah. That's it. That's it. Okay. Now. Yes. Put that over. And then okay. that one now. Should be going now. there. Now we need it. That way. That way. This one. Yeah. Mm. Another fricker. Oh, but this one has to go like this. This one has to go like this, maybe. Mm -hmm. Like this. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. Yes, you gotta go. Yes. This one would be. Yeah, see, this one would be. It has to have two unders. Try this. Those are two unders. Try this. Three. Under. Yes. Those are two. Three. I don't know. Is that over? It's under. Over. It's under. Over. Go like this, right? Four. Yeah. But see, it's. This is not long enough, then. No, that's good. That's where oh, you yeah, are. That's, yeah. that's why. And then I think you use this to go over. Then, Carol, what about here? This? No, wait. I think yeah, that would be this one. Oh, yeah. This one. Exactly. Yep, that's it. It looks so big. I'll go over it. Oh, oh, this way. Yep. Yeah. yeah, there we go. That, that, and now that. Push that one with that over this way. There we go. There we go. Oh, thank God for grandchildren. <laughs> ah, you know, they have it done by now. Ah. Yep, and now. Kind of, sort of. Wait, no. This one has to be longer. No? It's, this one has to be longer. It's got three. Yeah. We need this one. one. Hold on. I think that's right. That's the one that's missing. Yeah. Everybody hold one. This is on time. He's a bulldog. Oh, sorry. We have about 15 minutes left. Yep, that's right. About 15 minutes. What's this guy? Does this guy have three? We can turn. Which this is the one that okay, that's that. That's one, it. two, three. One, two, three. This okay. one? Yep, that's good. No. Yep. Oh that's good. So now this one, yeah. This is the one looking for. One, two, three. These one has three. No, that's um, are we supposed to Here, that one has three. Give me that one. Some of their pieces. These ones, no, it is like that because you can see these ones always with the words. Alright, so you want to put this one here? So there's no actual number one and two? I don't remember that. Yep. 
That's what they said. Things to do. Have fun when playing the rain. Pineapple Star MC Rock. Correct. I got it. Star MC Rock. Anything okay. else? Okay. Now on the bottom, the thing that's hold holding the clipboard, which is the MC Rock. <laughs> oh my God. This is too much. This is why I call. Uh, this is why I call Jackie five times a day. <laughs> Because we're we, we yeah. <laughs> Because one conversation does not cover it. You know that. The reimbursement issue that Correct. we, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, they can, we can call them. I mean, okay. These, these are good. These are good. Oh, we got the clip already. Good. Anything specific you want me to ask? Um, um, is that start? She said something about, if, is there something written on oh, her no, pad? Okay. Do you remember that? Is that right? Play in the rain. Okay. That's right. This place. She said this was in the middle. And the red was on the end. Okay, okay your time is up. Time is up. Switch. Pineapple to the right. Okay. Do it. Okay. 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 Colon. Oh God, I forgot about uh, that. Send someone in for your last communication, and then we're gonna check uh, to see how well we did. Orange. Oh yeah. It's pineapple. It's a pineapple. It's pineapple on the board, and then the spiral clip down. So we are out of time right now. So what we're gonna do is we're actually going to. Break down the wall here. Wait, they're finishing my instruction here. <laughs> and then we're going to bring the table over towards them so you can see what it looks like. Okay? Perfect. So let me just get this back. Breaking down walls. Breaking down walls. All right, baby. No division. We're all good? No, we left, left, left. Okay. Here are your two setups. Oh my. Wow. Okay, so we'll start with the top uh, question mark. So we got the clips yeah. though on the bottom and that, so we'll give you that's one. We've got the, let's see, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, four, five, six, seven. Eight. Eight. Right. Good on that. You didn't even check the colors? What's That's that? Oh, I'm giving you the colors. Wow. Nicole? Oh I, my God. I'm giving you... Uh, some... Yeah, but I, we need bonus points for the colors. Okay. Because <laughs> well, the colors are Well, right. then I'm going to tell you it's wrong. <laughs> what? No, because it's not. Because if we're going to do two it... Two orange, two yellow, two red, blue, green. What? Two orange, two yellow, two red, blue, green. <laughs> yeah, but... We moved that uh, around. So uh, if you're looking for uh, order... Uh, oh, okay. okay. So you moved okay. them. So, yeah, we moved So I'm giving it to you. So it's probably better not to argue about it. Okay. So we've got one, we've got two, we've got the upside down calculator. Yeah. Three. Right. We've got the notepad, that's four. Yeah. Uh, this holy tray is also five. Stapler is correct. Uh, cup is also, so that's eight. Oh, the, I'll give you a half a point on that because the pencils are leaning on the opposite side. Oh, oh no. 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 Are we gonna, all right, okay. no, I'll give you a full point. All right, so thank that's you. eight. Okay. Uh, that makes nine then. Excuse me, nine. Yeah. Step on top. Oh, uh, wrong pad, wrong though. Pad. Same message. Same message. That was nine, though. You've got. So yeah, correct. wrong side. Yeah. Wrong side. Um, but you got the. Storm. No, that should have been up there. That should have been up there. Yeah. But if you okay. take that off, we have the pad. <laughs> we have right. the pad in the right position. <laughs> yeah, so that doesn't matter. Plus one is twelve. So you did. Twelve. Well, we did. Oh, wow. yeah. Yeah. It didn't yeah. matter what color the pencils were? Typically I don't, but okay. you were pointing them out, so ah, I don't want to oh. you on it. So Do you know what? It was right. We it was right. Yeah. Them. Like, that was oh, big to us. We yeah. were like, it has to be. It's, it's interesting, because right. some groups will like be that. very meticulous about that. I was very that. specific yeah, about the colors here. Yeah, I saw those. It had to be on the what side, so that's why we got that. And we're order, counting them, and oh. We got 12. So we're going to send you back in there, communicate with the other team, and then we're going to switch roles here. 
So what we have here is called communication breakdown. And what's gonna happen with this challenge is there is one desk that's already assembled, as you'll see here. You've got your pad of paper, you've got your um, calculator to your scissors to pencils, uh, sayings on each of these notepads. And what has to happen is, this is team one, team two has to uh, recreate the same identical uh, office space. And by doing that, they're going to communicate by sending one person to a central location from team one and team two and communicate what that looks like. Because ultimately we wanna have two identical sets. When they do that, they're gonna be bringing small bits of information over to communicate with the other team. They'll then go back to their respective teams, communicate that information back on, and then come back together and do it again. And they'll continue to do this until they have a, a desk that is 100% identical to the one that is disassembled that worked all right cool and then say the team with the most identical so the team this is a collaborative event so the team um, has typically will set a goal to begin with that will allow them to determine how many correct items they want to have the last team we just worked with said 12 there was a total of 15 they got 12 therefore they were successful if a team really wants to challenge each other they could go for 100 percent correct and that would mean that they would have to get all 15 items correct awesome go cool. So we have quantum puzzle going on behind me. It's a process improvement puzzle. The teams have a set of lumber that has notches cut into it and an image of the completed puzzle. If they complete it quickly, we're able to do process improvement and time the teams and compete in a head-to-head -head competition to see who can put the puzzles together the fastest. It's a great activity for team synergy and communication, but it also gets at different uh, people's styles. Some focus and really zoom in and look on the details, and some groups really step back and look at the bigger puzzle from, from an aerial view. It takes all different perspectives to put the puzzle together. In this collaborative golf game, a team of four people will pick this piece up, take the uh, roll the ball so it comes off the tee and then try to get it into that hole over there and then once you get into the hole you take the ball back move okay, the hold on. 
Hey, my name is Scott, I'm with United Adventures, and uh, we're working here with the Collaborative Mini Golf. It's a um, activity where a group of four people work together holding ropes, and they roll the ball uh, on this miniature golf course into the hole over there. The objective is for the people to lift it up as, as say, and then it would roll try to get it into the hole without getting it into the water. Once you have it in the hole, you move the tee to the next hole and you start over again. You get better each time, you play nine holes, first team that gets it done wins. Another fun activity that we do is quantum puzzle. Um, they're working on um, 12 pieces of wood that are cut into various sizes with different notches in them. They have a picture as a group. Um, they need to figure out how to put it together to match the picture. Cool. So what, what, does, what is this game designed to foster or, you know, help besides fun, I guess? It really is um, working on communication, working together, listening. Um, getting people to work together collaboratively. And then this is six blue, six green. Guys, if they're four worn, hopefully they brought you right about a stack. Okay, we're gonna take this. Alright, we're just gonna pick this up and move it over. So we'll wow. start with the cork board here. Oh, we forgot about this. Start no. with the cork board here. No. Nobody told us no Star multi care of rocks. That is correct. You got it with, ooh, yeah. these ones are switched, but that is one. You got your, um, you've got your question mark correct. So that's two. Uh, this yeah. is three, that's correct. Um, your, your cup yes, with the pencil. is correct, so that's four. Your calculator is correct, that's five, six. Stapler is also correct, so that's seven. Um, the hole that's in the apparatus, so that's eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh, you're missing this one on here, yeah. which would have been twelve. Um, you've got Yep, 12, mm -hmm. 13, 14 is the cup, and then everything in it would be 15. So, congratulations. Yeah. So, teams two and four both get the win here. So. To, to do this whole activity. This is awesome. It was yeah. so fun. It was cool. This is my voice fun. Okay. Yeah. That and the wooden thing. I yeah, like the blocks. I like, I like the wooden blocks too. Yeah. yeah. I did learn that I need to see a neurologist because I can't remember <laughs> anything. <laughs> Stop drinking. It's time. It's time. Stop drinking. See you around. All right. How about yeah, anything you else? In terms of the people that were being sure. communicated to, how did you receive that information? You think good. it was easy? Like awesome, like we always are. Okay. Yeah, we always communicate well. Yep. We that's, do. Yep. That's a good thing. Yep. And when you were providing information, was there anything that you were struggling with or anything that um, may have been a little bit harder to do than you thought would 
actually happen? I think we gave a little too much information sometimes at one yeah. Yeah. one juncture. Yeah. yeah. Sure. I Should have went up more we, frequently. I feel like we set the table up like a clock, like I heard a few people. Mm -hmm. You know, like 12 o'clock. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, that would have been good to kind of give it relevance. Right. You guys are great. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, sure. Yeah. So, so what we do, we actually refer to that as what we call a shared mental model. Yeah. So if you refer to a clock, which you did, which is a great thing, you think about 12, everyone thinks 12 is above mm -hmm. them, six below, three to the right, and nine to the left. Then you can use that as a reference. So when you're talking to someone on the phone, think about those things because people learn through one of three styles, visual, auditory, or kinesthetic. And if, you can, if you're talking with someone on the phone, you're obviously doing the auditory. And I'm a terrible person when it comes to listening to what people have to say, if I see it in front of me, or if I see it, or if I actually get my hands on it and do it, uh, it really makes sense to me. So sometimes when you're communicating with people, ask them, you know, how do you receive information? And that will help you communicate what you need to to those clients, patients, team members, whoever it may be. Mm -hmm. But um, again, give yourselves a big round of applause. Thanks, guys. And so now what we're gonna do, we're gonna go into the other room, uh, into the hall. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and there are five clues that are located. You'll see them in a blue bucket. Okay, something like that, or a blue bucket like that. Who else sees this happen, first of all? So, those clues that we told you, there are five checkpoints GCL, XYZ, which we showed you how to get to. Uh, those then will then have a clue in there. Please, in the bucket, please only take one clue. Stay together because there are five, or excuse me, four identical clues in there, one per team. So only take one of them. Once you get all five clues, you're going to come back to this room, which is called the Saratoga Room. You're then, the actual pieces of paper actually have challenges on them. It's going to give you a five digit code. So on the front of it is going to give you a riddle or a poem or some type of challenge. On the back is a, a either a number or a letter. You're going to have to figure out how to get that in sequential order, basically a five digit combo. We will then give you your final clue for your final challenge. All right? So it's, it's a lot of thinking. Now this is the cognitive part of the event, but essentially we're going to set you free right now and let's have you back. Where do we get the actual slides? Um, Let's have you back by 4 o'clock at the latest. 4 o'clock back in Saratoga Road. Okay? We see uh, if we're... Uh... Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Where's this garden room? That one? You think we're going to leave the fireplace? Nice car. Mary Lynn. She's a girl for Let's get away from there so they don't come out and see us. Mr. Smith has four daughters. No, we don't do any of that. Oh, that we you don't will. do any of that now. You can do it when you get back into the room. Right, so we want to collect all okay. the clues first. Yep. Yep. Each of the daughters has a brother. How many? Oh, I'm more. She knows she's going on. Can you turn the other one down? Where's Jim? Oh, Jim, that in the middle of the place. So you need to get to 5, yep. 9, yes. 10, 11, and 13. Yep. Yep. Okay? And then to get to those is right here. So right now that's 5. Or no, that's you need to see GC so no, six no. there. So, okay. So then you need to get those numbers. Okay. But we don't have to get them in that order. No, you get it any order you want. Okay. Okay. Okay.
much water on the math part. I was going to St. Ives and that, oh, that's, I almost an accident. This place after dinner is where our final challenge is going to take place. Okay? So you need to figure out where this location is going to be. Once dinner is done, everyone's going to come to this final place. And we will give you we'll, we'll give you that final challenge there. <coughs> Four, eight, twelve. That's what I got, too. How many you got? Twenty-three. Because it's four, eight, twelve, six. You know I'm bad with these. We've done these together. Twenty-three. Okay, so you might want to start off with something like, so we just finished a great day of blah blah blah. You know what I mean? Right. So I'm Stephen Sternback, president and CEO of Star Multicare, and we hired United Adventures, and they are unbelievably outstanding powerful, dynamic group of people, took us through an unbelievable day of team building, accomplishments. My team is much closer together today after this event. I feel the fire and the fury inside my team. Great, great day. I thank you guys. Well worth the money and double the price. Thanks again. Steven Sternbeck. Okay, stay right there. Why, why is it important to do stuff like this? You need to put the team of people together. So we're all from different offices in different locations. They just know each other via telephone. So when you put the people together and they have an opportunity to unite together and come together, it really makes a big difference in the structure of your company and people sharing information and data. Mm -hmm. Significant for my company. Awesome, awesome. Um, how often do you do, do, you do this? We do this once a year, uh -huh. every year, to get everyone together from multiple states to come together for a meeting like this. And everyone goes home charged and fired up and pumped up, and relationships grow. And therefore, revenues, margins grow. It's very significant to the company. We've been doing it for many years. Fantastic. Um, what, 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 if, what is someone missing? What's a company missing out on if they don't do this? They're, again, they're missing out on the ability to communicate, know everybody by face in the company, and that creates a bond and a closeness together among the people. And when you put the face with the phone voice, all of a sudden, any possible relationships that were a little so-so men together when you work as a group and a team together. And that's what I see today, and that's the accomplishment that this achieves for the company. Have you used any other companies? We have used another company and they were very, very good. We like your style of this company that we use today. Very good, very team building oriented and we would use you again. Awesome, awesome. Uh, and anything else? That's no, awesome. just very pleased. That's A great. good day for the company. Awesome, thanks. Um, my name's Emma Kresge. I'm the Conference Services Manager at Crystal Springs. Um, we work with United Ventures um, pretty regularly. We I think I can speak for everyone on the United or on the Crystal Springs team that United Ventures is really the only team building company that we like to work with. They make it easy from the minute we recommend a group to the minute they're on property executing the event. Um, the sales team can always bring our vision and our guests' vision to life. Um, they're flexible. They'll customize an experience if we can't come up with something um, off the top of our heads, they'll brainstorm with us. And in terms of coordinating, they make the communication very easy. Um, they can think of things that sometimes we can't even think of. Um, and they're, should we start? Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> there was like four. Um, I'm Emma Kresge. I'm the Conference Services Manager from Crystal Springs Resort. Um, and we love working with Will and the team at United Ventures. There's a lot of team building companies that will do what they do, 
but we choose to work with Will because his team is what we find to be most professional, um, experts in the field in team building, and are really just fun and great to work with. They, from the minute we recommend a group to them, they will take our vision and bring it to life, whether that be customizing something or being flexible with what they have to offer. Um, it is always a pleasure working with them. Um, during coordinating the event, they are always quick to respond and um, easy to communicate with, reachable, always available if we have questions, and most importantly, day of, here on site, working with our clients, making sure our clients feel comfortable, and really just making sure the event goes smooth and perfect. Excellent. Um, the, what, what, what would you say is the feedback that you hear from your, your clients? The, their, their, yeah. Yeah. Um, every, I, all of the feedback that we receive is positive and fantastic. A lot of our clients choose to work with them at different properties after they leave us and maybe go on to a different property later in the year. They bring Will and his team back to work with them again. Um, we have groups that come to us every year and continuously choose to work with him and uh, create new ideas and new team building experiences so each meeting is different. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Um, so, yeah, what should somebody look for in a company? And don't worry about repeating yourself. You yeah. Know? Um, um, yeah. I mean, you want someone who's flexible, creative. Um, someone who's experienced or a team that's experienced that has done something before and also um, professional to guide you in the direction that will be most successful for your group. Um, sometimes you can have an idea or a vision and it just needs a new idea to bring it to life and I've seen Will and his team do that time and time again. Awesome. Um, we, we really feel like United Ventures is a direct reflection of Crystal Springs and um, we view them more as partners than just an outside vendor. Um, I have gotten to know everybody from their team because they're always on site, they're always available, they want the event to go just as well as we do. So um, it's nice because they really do have the same vision that we do and that's to make somebody's event a success. Perfect. Anything else you want to add? No. <laughs> how is, uh, how, so what do, you, what do you do for them actually? I'm a facilitator. Uh, facilitator, there you go. Facilitator. <laughs> <laughs> Fired. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Work, though. It's probably the most fun I've ever had with a job. Um, it doesn't feel like work. It's absolutely a blast to come out and work with the clients and the team at UE. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, why is it important to, to enjoy what you do? Go on. I left the track of working in the corporate world um, and took a hard right to do team building with teenagers and now am able to do this you know, back in the corporate environment which really motivated me early on. So it's exciting to work with um, the clients and to love your job like it we're we're bringing the teams of the clients together as a team and if I didn't love what I was doing for the company um, how am I going to motivate others to love what they're doing as we're working with their companies mm -hmm, mm -hmm. awesome um, I really believe especially in this field and loving uh, what I do our job is to work with folks who are building their teams for their companies and if I love what I'm doing for this company it's going to translate in my facilitation with the clients in refreshing and re-energizing them towards their company's cause and and working together as a team mm -hmm. awesome I really love working for United Ventures. There's a lot of companies out there that do this kind of work, but it's an incredibly empowering team environment. It's a lot of fun. It's family oriented, but you know, in, in, in a corporate environment, we work together like, you know, a fun dynamic family. And I think that translates into the work that we do with the clients. So I love the, the, t the team dynamic and the culture working at UE because we really are 
a dynamic group of folks from for, from diverse backgrounds, but we all have a, a love and a passion for, for team building and experiential learning opportunities, and we're constantly working to grow ourselves as individuals, and I think that translates into the work that we do and helping the clients grow themselves and grow as a team. Mm -hmm. Awesome. What would you, how would you characterize the approach they take to developing the program? Brian and Will do an incredible job of, of leading the, the team and really designing every single program so that it goes off without a hitch and so that it is a dynamic and well-organized and fantastic experience for the clients. Um, we're always bringing new and fresh ideas to, to, to what we do and new and innovative activities. Uh, I don't think that any team working with us or client company coming to work with us will experience the same thing twice. And the team at UE is, is always collaborating and idea sharing and looking for uh, better and, and more exciting activities to offer each time we bring uh, a program to, to a client. Mm -hmm. Every team, regardless of the company, is two people or you know, two million people. The company investing in uh, team building, team synergy, uh, the return on investment is, is, is invaluable. There's, there's no dollar and cents that can be put into looking to build, empower, and motivate your team with a company like United Ventures. Awesome, awesome. When we have clients come together and, and you remove them from their environment, but they're still with the same people that they work with, you know, side by side or remotely every day. Uh, one, bringing them together and working on that team synergy, and two, just, you know, doing something different just really can refresh, re energize, and motivate a team in a totally different way. That would be great. Scott Cherry, S C O T T C H E R R Y. So what's it like to work at United Ventures? It's been a great experience so far. Um, uh, every experience is different, which is nice. Um, uh, you work with a different group of people. Um, some jobs, uh, like today is the first time I'm working with Nicole. Um, we're, um, Family like atmosphere. Uh, Will's been a great guy to work for. Working alongside Brian as well has been uh, very good. The communication lines are always open. Awesome. So, um, how would you describe the culture in the company? Um, positive, fun. Um, when we're in front of a group, it's uh, very professional-like, and then we like to have a little bit of fun outside um, as well. Family-like. Um, everyone, um, there's connections everywhere. Um, like Brian and I have kids that go to school together. Um, Nicole came through with um, Eric Erickson, and Eric and Will go back. 20 years or something like that. Everyone knows somebody that got drawn in um, somehow into the company. Mm -hmm. so, um, Will um, has uh, worked hard in getting um, like training sessions. I don't want to call it orientation, but specific training sessions that we go through, whether it be in person or uh, via teleconference or video conference. Um, we probably have like once a month where we just um, eight or nine of us come together and just um, talk about a specific topic. Uh, one last summer was where we were all together and we each led activities to show, um, to, we brought something to the, the, the group, um, a team building activity. So kind of we shared what we knew and um, it also gave us an opportunity to be led by somebody within the group as well. Awesome. What would you say is their approach or what goes into like the the things that they build you know what i mean like that they create for for the client uh, experience um yeah, the, there's there what goes into what they plan there's really no limitation they will do um from what i've seen and and talked to both will and brian about um just about anything to cater to their needs they will um like the the golf thing that we were looking at earlier today that was built for a group um, about a month ago uh, specific to what they wanted to do uh, so now it's incorporated into other activities as well 
Um, they think outside the box on most most things and get it figured out one way or another how to um, deliver the product mm -hmm. to the, the, the client. Excellent. And uh, what do you think that is? Um, I would say about 99.9% .9 of the people I've worked with um, or have been around, they've um, felt very good at the end of their experience. Um, there's a couple that, I mean, like, um, that have different different expectations or outlooks on what they thought they were going to get. But it, it is, um, it has been a, a positive experience for everyone I've, I've been around um, so far. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Why is it important to, for you personally, or anyone, individual, why is it important to love what you do? Do you love what you do here? Yeah, yes, I do. Um, it's, uh, as I said, my background right now is stay-at-home dad. So now I'm actually doing something productive um, outside the house, uh, working with people I enjoy being around, um, and actually growing from being around them as well. Um, and uh, just the, um, yeah, it's just a pure joy because every group that we work with is different. Um, everything that we do is different. Uh, we may set up out on the lawn oversized lawn games um, such as Giant Ladder or um, uh, the Cornhole, but it's like uh, plywood um, sheets and um, or do like we did today, more of a scavenger hunt uh, where it's two, four teams playing against each other. So. Mm -hmm. um, and the outcomes are different. Uh, the people are different. It, it, there's no, no experience has been the same since I've been here, and that's a positive thing. So. Cool. So, tell me about United Adventures. Super. So, my name is Will Leggett. I'm the owner and president of United Adventures. United Adventures is a corporate team building company specializing in entertainment, event planning, and training and development services. We take corporate groups out outside of their comfort zone and basically create an experience that will allow them to build relationships, work on communication, increase trust, create memorable lasting relationships with each other that are um, experiences that we create for them to, um, to have some fun, enjoy each other's company, and basically um, learn something from each other. By putting them through our experiences, they have an opportunity to come outside the workplace, learn something about each other, and have some fun doing it. So basically, again, we, should I keep going on, just repeat it again, or? Yeah, yeah, don't, okay. don't worry about repeating yourself, okay. actually, but, but. All right. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, uh, so essentially, what we do is, so our events include Iron Chef competitions. We do a new one called Pop-Up Food Truck, which is basically a, a cooking competition where you create the facade of a food truck and uh, half your team is building that and half your team is cooking. So your team might be doing Mexican, my team might be doing um, American, and essentially the food truck itself has a display that um, that is along with that theme. So that's one type of event. We also do adventure racing. Adventure racing is what uh, you may see on The Amazing Race. Uh, what we call that is Adventure Quest. And basically it's using a handheld GPS unit. When you take this GPS unit outside, you go to different checkpoints. These are also known as caches. Uh, when you arrive at those checkpoints, you're gonna have one of three challenges to solve. One is a physical type challenge where you'll meet a staff um, that will be uh, facilitating that challenge. You'll also have a video challenge. So you'll have a tablet that the video will pop up on. Um, and the third one is some type of trivia, whether it's custom for your retreat or if it's about, um, or if it's just general knowledge trivia questions. So that's a very popular one that we deliver. And again, that's called the Adventure Quest. We also deliver uh, which is a really fun one, which we just did today, which is called Corporate Survivor. And basically how Corporate Survivor works is it's head-to-head -head competitions, and you're competing to receive advantages for one final challenge. So we can do this with groups of 10 to uh, hundreds of people. And essentially with that, we, we create um, fun challenges that are both thought-provoking and physically demanding. So 
first of all, we'll find out from the group if, if that's the type of challenge you're looking for, meaning uh, we're on a scale of number five. We're all young athletes and want to go out and, and really challenge each other physically. Or if it's uh, more of an executive leadership team and they're looking for a little bit less of a physical type challenge, either way, we'll customize that event and any event that we deliver so that it will uh, meet the need, fit the needs of the client. Uh, other events and services we provide are training and development. So I have staff and myself that are capable of delivering disc assessments, Myers-Briggs, emotional intelligence, uh, five dysfunctions of a team. We've also created uh, events that will uh, be custom for their company themselves. So if you're looking for a communication event that's focused in on training and development, we can develop a whole event based around communication. Uh, the big things you'll hear about are uh, my, my team is growing quickly and we're all located different places around the country. So by bringing everyone together through these type of trainings, it meets the face to the name um, and the voice that they've been usually talking with over the phone. So um, other services that we're providing are event planning services. Uh, these are basically tarot. These are creating um, packages for corporations to come to us and say, hey, we are interested in going somewhere. We don't know where we want to go, but we have 100 people and we want to get them there. So we'll organize transportation, whether you're getting on a plane or train, an automobile or a bus. Um, we also organize rates with venues. We have hundreds of different partnerships um, from venues to resorts and can create that win-win um, where um, essentially we can negotiate on behalf of, of your company and can create that, um, that rate that you're looking for. Um, we also can negotiate uh, food and beverage contracts and can come up with our own unique uh, creative planning for those menus. The last part of our business is uh, entertainment. And entertainment is basically what you may think of with bringing in bands, DJs. We do casino nights, murder mystery dinners. Uh, we have these fun things called knocker balls, uh, which are big bubbles that you get in and play a game of soccer. And it's basically full contact soccer. Um, and lawn games, we do tailgate parties, uh, bringing people to big uh, sporting events and organizing all the logistics to go into that. So, um, you know, it's a fun company to be part of. I really um, enjoy surrounding myself with people that are like-minded, fun, outgoing, know what they're talking about and have um, experiences that they can talk about to our staff or to our, um, our participants that we're working with. Cool. How customized is the program for the you, you know and, and any individual company and what's the approach to that customization i'm sure, sure. it's customized right yeah, yeah yeah so how we customize our events is by doing a thorough needs assessment uh, when you call okay well, let's let's do this. so so let's do like let's look at general statement and bring it down to the specific so okay. like you know a lot of times i just throw just to throw something out for you to yeah. say listen if you're about to, if you're about to make an investment in a, in a, in a once a year thing. Sure. You want to make sure it hits the mark, yep. right? The, the, the last thing you want to do is save up all your time and all your, you know, personal fun credits with each other and, and waste it on something that's not gonna, you know, really do it. So what we do is, uh, sure. Yeah. Okay. So how we customize our events is we basically understand what you want to do by bringing people together because a lot of the times, these people are coming from different places around the country. And so by bringing everyone together through a fun shared bonding experience, we can customize that based on physical level abilities, uh, as well as, um, you know, if we're working with engineers versus um, doctors versus uh, scientists, you know, we, we can customize that and basically we'll uh, create an experience that is thought provoking, it's entertaining, it's uh, creating memories that will last a lifetime. And that's, um, that's how, how we've gotten to the point where we are because even if we do the same program twice, it will have different outcomes, but it will be customized for that group so that, we, um, so that they will have the opportunity to take away something from that event. Fantastic. Um, what would you say separates you from other companies that claim to do what you do? 
So what separates us from other companies is the ability to customize our events. Um, a lot of companies, when you hear about team building, you'll, you'll hear about, hey, let's go to a ropes course. And if you do a ropes course event, those are all standard activities that you have to do. Our events are tailored to the, the needs of our clients and, um, and we're adaptable ultimately that when clients come to us and they say, hey, uh, do you mind if we start an hour later? Uh, our meetings are running longer, not a problem. We're here to work with you, we're on your schedule and we're, we're here to have some fun. So we travel for our events uh, all over the country and all over the world. Our events can take place in California one day and the next day we're in uh, Texas. Uh, what, how my business model works is that we have contract staff that's able to deliver our events in any place around the country or around the world. Uh, we've been in this business for over 13 years and I've, I've met so many different um, people that have introduced me to new connections, meaning venues, uh, resorts, so we can recommend those to our clients and and create um, the ultimate uh, experience for them because we know what a, a hotel in California would look like uh, if you're here in New York or if you're in New York and you want to go to um, a place in Vermont, we have recommendations there. Um, we are traveling constantly. We can come to your place of work. We can come to your business. We can come to the venue you're already staying at. And by being diverse enough and large enough company to deliver multiple events around the country, that really um, is exciting. And it's something that, um, that I want to continue to build and want to have uh, more and more venue recommendations so that we can fit any budget that clients are coming in to us with. So if you have um, a very small budget that you just wanted to have a day meeting, yeah, we can come to your office and we can deliver an event right there on site for you. Uh, versus if you wanna bring people for an overnight, again, we can organize the travel to do that. And then once you're there, we can organize all the logistics and we can recommend those venues for you. Um, these places that we look for typically are um, our larger hotels, meaning uh, 100, 100 rooms, but we've also worked with partnerships with boutique hotels. Um, you name it from the different partnerships, we've worked with them um, from Kimpton Hotels to Rock Resorts to uh, to venues all across the world. So if you want to go to so another, just start the sentence over. You, you, we work, we work with multiple. We yeah. So we work with multiple different venues around the country and can provide. <laughs> <laughs> Your face is gone. Yeah. Uh, all right, he's good. No, he's good. Yeah. yeah. Um, so we work with a wide variety of. All right. So we work with a wide variety of different types of properties, whether it's uh, a Kimpton Hotel or a Rock Resort, or. Um, or the Hiltons, you know, so we, we're, we're very open to different types of venues. Um, and these venues, you know, will have meeting space, they'll have beautiful hotel accommodations, the food and beverage is superb. And we create, um, create these partnerships so that it basically will, um, will create the, the win-win. So we will be, have the opportunity to bring you to these different places and give you several recommendations to do that. Awesome. Um. Uh, so typically the companies that we're working with understand the value of team building. They understand that there is a need in the workplace to bring people together, especially with technology changing and people working from home. Uh, by bringing people together, they, they get it and they understand our services and what we provide uh, that really helps their company. And um, and we recognize that by uh, a lot of repeat clients. Our clients that we work with are coming back to us year after year saying, uh, United Ventures, we're now going to this property in this location. Can you come with us and provide another training and development, team building, entertainment, whatever it may be. Uh, but yes, we, we travel, we bring them to different places and they also bring us to different places because they understand what it, is or what it means to be uh, a good leader and by being a good leader that's showing that you're investing back in your people and by investing back in your people you're going to have a great return on investment for that that's for sure 
Mm-hmm. And what would you say to the companies that, that don't, that don't, you know, might not understand? Yep. Or, so to the, for the people that, or for the companies that don't try team building or haven't tried it and they think it's all rah, 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 kumbaya, United Ventures is not like that. We, we create experiences that last a lifetime and people, um, if they haven't ever worked with us, come try it out. We're, we're very open to understanding what your needs are. And obviously every client is different, but by understanding what, what it is that you want to provide to your participants slash employees, um, we will understand that and we will get that. Um, the people that I've surrounded myself with are, um, are educators. They've been in uh, a teacher role or a professor role. Um, they've come from the hotel industry. They've come from event planning. And so ultimately they, they get it and we are able to create an experience for you that, that you'll have, um, have some memorable experiences together. So mm-hmm. there is value in team building. There is, um, there's a lot of ex- experiences that uh, we can create based on uh, what you have for timeline, what you have for a budget and where you wanna do it. Mm-hmm. Awesome.